Hi all, hope you're all well. Uh, give you an update. Uh, last few weeks have been very busy, well last few months have been very busy, but last few weeks in particular. We've, um, last week we completed all the um, greens maintenance. Uh, this is the early season one. And um, we do uh, three a year, so this is our first one. We always try to start early, get it all done before the season starts. So yeah, we uh, went with solid tining this time to, um, basically we usually go coring, but because we're a week later than we normally are, we uh, went with uh, tining instead. Um, the reason we're a week later is because the week we wanted to do it, uh, absolutely hooned it down and the club was closed. So um, yeah, it made sense to move it to the week after. We went with solid tines, large ones, so that we could get more sand in. Uh, ideally, over a year, we aim to get between 120 and 140 tons of dressing sand into the greens. This helps us uh, reduce the thatch, keep the surfaces nice and playable, keep them nice and firm. Uh, yeah, the more sand we get in, the better, really. So with this, the start of the season, we managed to get uh, 50 ton in uh, behind all the spiking so 40 ton last week 10 ton beginning of this week which is fantastic uh it's a brilliant start uh really pleased with how it went greens are gonna uh, love it they're already firming up beautifully uh, especially all that rain we had wednesday another half inch um screwed up everything else but did, did the greens really well it's like it was planned um and uh got feed down behind that so they're really starting to push through now um you'll get the thicker grasses to start off with because of the temperatures then the finer grass will start to push through now it's warm enough a bit during the daytime uh, cold nighttime temperatures currently not too bad but the finer grass will start to push through soon um, so yeah greens are pretty much exactly where I want them for going into the next few weeks uh, ramping up the cutting ramping up the rolling getting them ready for the start of the uh, main competitions through the season uh, Captain Strava obviously being the first one uh, yeah so um, be pleased with that then we didn't dress tease approaches uh, swales got another 50 ton into those three combined which again is a fantastic start uh, again same principle on those helps level them up firm them up um, really makes a big difference going through the year more sand we can get into these areas um, obviously we want to go a bit tighter on the cut on the approaches and swells this year we're normally at 10 mil this year we're going to try and drop them to eight same on the tees we were at 14 mil on those last year we want to try and drop them a bit see how they go first um, tees are going to get, or well, all of them are actually going to get overseeded over the next few weeks. Got to wait for the nighttime temperatures to warm up before we start putting the seed out, because otherwise it just doesn't work properly. I want to give it the best chance possible because it ain't cheap per bag these days. Um, yeah, so that's all gone on really well. The um, fairways again, we managed, we've started striping them up this week, so I've got a cut on all the fairways. First line has gone in. Um, again, the same same principle with them as with the greens. The finer grasses will be slow starting, but the thicker grasses, the powers and the uh, smooth stalks are pushing through. Right, well, they're they're the ones that are predominantly all there all through the winter. The rye and the fescues they'll start to uh, push through now too. The rye, to be honest, it is pushing through already. It's a really decent grass. We just don't have enough of it in the fairways. Hence the reason we're overseeding. It's predominant rye overseeding. We're putting down and a bit of fescue in there just for touch of class. But um, no, it's really good grass. Um, yeah, so that's all. They're getting overseeded. Seeds arrive in late April, so they'll be overseeded after that. If April goes like it did last year and we had 17 frost delays, um, yeah, we're not going to go early with it because we'll just slow it down completely. So overseeding for fairways is planned, let's say, late April, com coupled with the granular feeding. Um, on the granular feeding, we've got uh, granular feed on the tees and approaches just before the rain this week. So we haven't cut them this week, we'll be cutting them next week. Just let that granular really get in there, really give them a cracking start. Uh, yeah, so all guns blazing. We've uh, bunkers, uh, like I spoke about last weekend, we're edging and weeding those. So we've got the ones done on holes one, two, six and eight. Uh, we'll continue with the rest of them through uh, next week and the week after, get more done before captain's driving. Um, any that need sand will get topped up in uh, April because it's going to coincide with the sand arriving for the new bunkers um, on 9, 10, 11 and 12, the ones with getting capillary and revetted. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting them done. Um, yeah, the uh, bunkers also got a, obviously got a full rake this week, uh, a couple of times, so they're looking good. Um, like I say, we're advertising for more staff so that we can... Uh, a free on at the weekends and uh, be able to yeah 
do all the cutting, rolling, moving old and get the bunkers done as well. Uh, so that'd be nice class. Um, yeah, the uh, the turf um, has been done on the drainage lines now. The only is one little bit left to do on three, which get done on Monday, and we're leaving the bits uh, going down next to five path. That's all going to get left open, but the rest of it's all got turf in it now. Uh, between 13 and 14 is all going to get turfed, and obviously the uh, around the lake edge, that turf there will be get coming in, coinciding again with the bunkers because there's turf going around the bunkers. So the next lot of turfs coming in to do around the lake and around the bunkers. So yeah, again, that'll be around mid-April time. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, a lot going on on that front. The um, course is gonna get remeasured over the next few weeks, uh, month, month to few weeks, um, so that when we can sort out some kind of T signage and uh, we've got all new ball washers coming in, 150 posts. Um, yeah, so a lot, go, a lot of stuff going on on that front. So looking forward to all that stuff turning up. Um, yeah, got the uh, AGM coming up next weekend. So if any questions you want, I think a survey thing's gone out. So either ask one then or submit them to the committee, I think it is. Uh, so yeah, obviously answer any questions you get asked. Uh, if you see me, obviously ask me questions too. It's fine. Like, don't want to talk about what we do. It's one of my great joys and interests. So yeah, always free to have a chat if anyone wants to talk about what we do. Um, yeah, so take care. I'll see you out there. Cheers, bye.